day. Um, I was really surprised to see the numbers were down so much from the month before. What, what are we seeing? We're seeing an economy, a nine-state region, uh, that's uh, the recovery is very fragile. In other words, the, the it's expanding, but the nine-state region, as at least as reported by the supply managers, uh, we're we're seeing some expansions in sales. We're seeing an expansion in new orders, but job losses. We there were job losses for the month of October, so this is uh, this uh, there is all there is a potential, the rising potential of a W-shaped uh, economy. That is uh, coming out of the recession and then going back into recessionary territory. Now it's a bit too early right now. The uh, the leading economic indicator from the survey of supply managers was still above growth neutral. But we are seeing um, lack of hiring, uh, inventories still are way down. That's a, a very good point. The inventories are, are still, the, in, in the companies that we survey are continuing to cut inventories. There's not been a lot of restocking of inventories. And of course, uh, that's that when that does begin, it will add to overall economic activity. But at this point in time, not, any, not many new jobs, rising unemployment rates across the nine state region. And at the same time, again, uh, cuts in inventories, although new orders are up, production and sales are up, but that's, uh, that's much like what we're seeing in the national economy, which is uh, the third quarter GDP was pretty solid between 3 and 4 percent, even as unemployment rates rise, even as there are job losses. And that doesn't bode well for the holiday shopping season. It does not bode well for the holiday shopping season. We asked supply managers uh, to estimate uh, uh, holiday sales, and the average out there is for a 1.6 percent decline in retail sales from last year. What we'd like to see, of course, is something between 6 and 7 percent, so that's, that's certainly not good. What else about the report that you saw that perhaps was a little surprising or, you know, is sort of telling for what could be coming up? Well, we, the uh, inflation gauge continues to uh, increase. We've this in in a territory that that indic that would point to uh, inflation above what the Federal Reserve is comfortable with. The Federal Reserve would like to see inflation between one and three quarters and two percent. Our inflation gauge, uh, which is at the wholesale level, is pointing to inflation above that level, and we're going to see that probably as early as the middle of 2010. So I think in, the uh, Fed has to be on the uh, inflation uh, alert in, in early 2010. So what's happening in mid-America is what's happening across the rest of the country. It is, although in this part of the country, the nine state region that we survey, they got the additional factor of farm income. Farm is a much, the far, agriculture is a much bigger factor in this part of the country. And so the rural communities, in the rural communities, the economic downturn is, is much more significant. And so the job losses that we're tracking, at least percentage-wise, are larger in the rural areas. The urban areas are uh, doing better, much better. Uh, for example, Minneapolis, Omaha, Des Moines, Kansas City, the other uh, urban centers in the nine state region are doing better than the rural areas and, and that's going to continue until we see a turnaround in farm income. Now people are, are what, saving more and spending less? Individuals are, are pulling back on their purchases so consumption is still weak, retail sales are weak and on the I side, the investment side where businesses uh, control that, that's been uh, doing a little bit better, even though, as, as we talked about earlier, on the inventory side, not much. So what's been driving this uh, GDP higher is, has been government. So uh, the problem, problem is, are we going to get a real kick in the either consumption from the consumer or investment from the businesses? And at this point in time, we are, we're getting a little of each, but not enough of either.